10 things you need to know about living in Summerlin. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my Summerlin series. I like to think that I am your local Summerlin expert. So today we're gonna to be talking about 10 things you need to know about Summerlin. Now, before we get started, why don't you hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button. That's the most important thing. Subscribe to my channel. No, just kidding. <laughs> but as you know, I have done numerous videos about Summerlin and obviously I can't say enough about it because I've done so many videos, but Summerlin is the largest master plan community here in Las Vegas. It's on the Western rim of the Las Vegas Valley. And there's just so much to talk about Summerlin. Summerlin is over 22,000 acres with over 250 parks, 150 miles of walking trails, 10 golf courses, 26 private and public schools, 14 houses of worship. The list can go on and on and on. So I thought, you know what? Let's give you 10 things that you may or may not know about Summerlin. And number one is Summerlin Villages. If you've ever noticed anything about my videos, I've posted about a lot of the villages in Summerlin. I get a lot of clients asking me, I don't understand what these villages are. So Summerlin has 22 different villages and they're divided into three different associations. You have Summerlin North, Summerlin South, and Summerlin West. So within these associations, the villages, and villages to me are kind of like districts. Within each village or district is divided into many different little subdivisions. So it's like a tree branch, kind of like you got the, the Summerlin, and then you got a village hanging out here. And then in that village, that one particular village, it's spread out into 12, 20 different little subdivisions. So within those subdivisions, there's different little parks. Most of the villages have their own huge community park, but we're gonna get into that shortly. So each of the villages have their own distinct personality with their own style of home. Some are new, some are older. Summerlin was developed in 1990. It's 31 years old with maybe another 15 to 20 more years to go. So that's, I hope I explained what a village was. As Summerlin was developed, they would have a different village during each year, I guess you would say. You know, the first village that was developed was the Hills Village. Then you have the Pueblo Village, then the Trails Village. So as Summerlin grew, they had the villages to distinguish also the years that it was built, if that makes any sense. And number two is the Summerlin Trail System. The Summerlin Trail System is comprised of four different types of trails. Ranks in community surveys as Summerlin's most popular amenity, spanning more than 150 miles. The Summerlin Trail connects neighborhoods and villages and provides children safe passageways in between to schools. Best of all, it provides miles of uninterrupted, beautiful scenery for jogging, walking, hiking, cycling, you name it, strolling, you can do it in those trail systems. And another thing about those trail systems is they have little parks within those trails that connect it to the schools or to the houses and the different villages. And there's about 10 miles of the trail system along the 215 Beltway. And soon they will have the trails all the way to Red Rock National Conservation Area. And number three is Summerlin Parks. There is no community in Southern Nevada with more parks than Summerlin. Nearly 250 of all sizes and types. In fact, every village in Summerlin is centered around a large community park. And some of those villages may have two or three or four. <laughs> like the Paseos village has two, the Vistas village has three. Um, so yeah, they have with every village, except for Red Point, Red Point Square, because they're still new, but every village has at least one large community park in it. While each of the community's neighborhoods is required to have its own smaller parks, 
reflective of a planning requirement which dedicates significant acreage to open space, parks, trails, and recreational use. The community's nearly two dozen major community parks range from five to 20 acres and feature an impressive variety of recreational amenities, including 16 tennis courts, 14 baseball, softball, t-ball fields, 11 basketball courts, seven soccer fields, three sand volleyball courts, community centers and pools, a football field, outdoor roller skating rink, and several interactive water play structures and shaded picnic ramadas. When it comes to parks and amenities, Summerlin is in a league of its own. And I have done a video on the Summerlin parks and also it's on my website at summerlincommunities.com if you wanna learn more about all the parks that Summerlin has to offer. And number four is Summerlin Community Centers. Summerlin is home to four heavily programmed, multi-purpose community centers for the exclusive use of community residents. The centers house Summerlin's many classes, youth camps, resident meetings, and special events. And Summerlin has four community centers. You have the Trails, the Willows, the Vistas, and the Gardens Community Center. And they're all spread out sporadically throughout Summerlin, so it's not like so many. I mean, the only thing is you have the Gardens and the Willows Community Center that are close, but then the Trails Community Center is in Summerlin North, and the Vistas Community Center is in Summerlin West. Well, we have community centers, but we also have pools in Summerlin. Swimming and water play are important recreational activities in Summerlin, especially during the hot summer months. Whether you're interested in swimming laps or slipping down a slide, there's a pool in Summerlin guaranteed to add a splash of excitement and fun to your summer. So Summerlin has three community pools, but then they also have two city pools. You have the Trails Community Center and Pool, then you have the Vistas Community Pool, and also the Willows Community Pool. But then you also have Pavilion Center Pool, which is a city pool, and also the Aquatic Springs Indoor Pool. Just FYI, we have pools, and um, you'll have an access card. It does cost to go into the pools. However, if you don't wanna have a pool in your backyard, you have access to the Summerlin Pools. Next is Summerlin Golf Courses. Summerlin has 10 community golf courses. One incredible backdrop and nearly 365 days of year of constant sunshine, there's nothing stopping you. Summerlin holds one of the world's first Jack Nicklaus designed Bears Best Golf Courses and Nevada's only two tournament players club TPC courses. So you have the Bears Best Golf Course which is close to the ridges. Then you have Eagle Crest, Highland Falls, and Palm Valley Golf Courses, which are in Sun City Summerlin. Then you have TPC Las Vegas, TP Summerlin. And then there's uh, the Siena Golf Club, the Summit Golf Club, the Royal Golf Club, which is in Red Rock Country Club. And then also you have the Red Rock Country Club Golf Course. And three of them are private. The Red Rock Country Club one is private, the Summit's private, and so is TPC Summerlin. Next is Downtown Summerlin. And Downtown Summerlin is a 400-acre commercial space located in the heart of Summerlin. Summerlin is the only master plan community with its own downtown. It's a stylish urban core bustling with city blocks of dining, shopping, entertainment, office space, and much more. So Downtown Summerlin includes the Downtown Summerlin Shopping Center, which we call DTS. It includes the Las Vegas Ballpark, the City National Arena, which is the Golden Knights Practice Facility, and also includes the Red Rock Hotel and Casino, and then one Summerlin, which is a nine-story office building. So not only just includes the shopping, it includes all of that. And Downtown Summerlin is located just off of the 215 in between Sahara and Charleston. And number eight is resort hotels. Did you know Summerlin has three resort hotels? You have Red Rock Hotel and Casino, you have the JW Marriott, and the Suncoast Hotel and Casino. So that's three awesome casinos, hotels that are close by if you wanna gamble and you don't wanna to go to the strip. And then number nine is Summerlin Schools. Summerlin has more than two dozen schools 11 nationally recognized private schools, 
and 14 public schools, several colleges, and specialized higher education facilities are also located in the community, ensuring learning opportunities for residents of all ages. So there are nine elementary schools, three middle schools, and two public high schools in Summerlin. And then there are 11 private schools and one charter school as well. And number 10 is we have four different locations for farmer's markets. I don't know if you knew that. Most people think the only farmer's market in Summerlin is at downtown Summerlin, but the other three locations is at Tivoli Village, the Gardens Park, and then Bruce Trent Park. Um, so yeah, farmer's markets are awesome. <laughs> but maybe you didn't know that there were four of them. <laughs> So that wraps up my 10 things you need to know about living in Summerlin. I hope you enjoyed my video. I am your local Summerlin expert. I live and breathe Summerlin. I sell a lot of homes in Summerlin. So if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Summerlin area, you know who to call, right? Angelo Hare, because I'm everywhere at 702-370-5112. Or I've posted a link down in the description below to a buyer and seller form. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Like, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, but mostly subscribe if you want to learn more about Summerlin or anything related to the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.